the shakedown run, the Jeep was finally back on the road. So we were going to take it out, go for a night of camping, meet up with some friends. It was about time. You ready? This video is brought to you in part by Raven Truck Accessories and North Shore Off-Road. How's everybody doing? Well, I'm on my shakedown run. Jeep's been uh, uh, getting some repairs done and uh, so we got the motor kind of rebuilt and back into it. I uh, got a new drive shaft in it. Uh, uh, this little mark on my nose that I had gotten a fight with my Jeep. I was putting in a new rear window and it smacked me in the face. So this is the shakedown run. And we're going out, I'm gonna have a, a nice day of camping. There's, looks like there's some fresh snow in the mountains, so nothing too major, well, at least planned anyway. And uh, I'm gonna go have some fun. Gonna meet up with uh, another fellow YouTuber out there and uh, yeah, have a good night camping. So I'm looking forward to it. It's been a while since I've had the Jeep out. So yeah, this is gonna be a great trip and I appreciate you guys coming along and uh, this is gonna be a fun one. Man, was it ever nice to have my Jeep back out again. I had missed it. with Sean who happened to be going out to the same spot as I was. I was going to meet Kathy at the Hunter Valley Road entrance. We were going to go in and find our camp spot from there. finally reached our camp spot. Everyone had uh, kind of parked, made a semicircle, and started to make a fire pit in the center. After talking with Kathy, we had decided to bring out our firewood so we can get the fire going. Well, after the fire was started, I decided to pull my Jeep over to a spot where I could set up camp. I really like how this gazelle tent goes up. It's nice, it's fast, and it's comfortable. All right, made it to camp. Got it all set up. What a beautiful spot here to uh, spend the night. The inaugural run of the Jeep is successful. It's, uh, it's working really well, so that's awesome. Drive shaft is working well. So yeah, I'm happy with that. So now it's time to maybe plan some more adventures and get things rolling. I think it's going to be a, a really good sleep in this, uh, this gazelle tent tonight. Looking forward to it. 
and my first time in this area so it's kind of kind of a nice area so looking forward to it anyways i'm gonna go back to the fire and do some visiting and then uh we'll get to camping after that no i'm gonna use my propane it's definitely working i haven't seen one mosquito today right we spent the afternoon by the fire it was fun good food good friends Okay, so when everybody said they're coming out to enjoy the day today, I figured they were going to be camping overnight, and that wasn't the case. So I'm camping overnight. It'll be a solo trip. It'll be fun, and we're just saying our goodbyes to everybody. So it's been a great time visiting with some good friends. But uh, nighttime's coming, and I'm looking forward to uh, looking forward to having some good camp time. There goes Cappy. And just like that, this turned into a solo camping run. I really didn't mind going solo camping. This was the first time I had been out with the Jeep in a very long time. I enjoyed it. It was super peaceful. Well, another day. What a beautiful sleep last night. I, I've i missed uh, sleeping out in the woods like this. Anyways, I'm looking forward to heading back to civilization today and uh, counting this trip as a success. Jeep is running. And for those of you that didn't know, I, I, I've had quite a bit of, um, quite a few struggles, I guess you could say, as of late with the Jeep. Lots of different uh, breakdowns and things going wrong. And so being that this is the first uh, trip out with it kind of all back together, um, yeah, it's kind of a win. Um, what had happened was uh, there was, it started with um, actually earlier in the summer, my rear coil springs went, so got those fixed. Then my, my power steering pump went while I was on a shelf road on a mountain. And anyways, got that fixed. And then a week later, I was out at the Brule Sand Dunes and uh, my timing chain guides decided to go. And then, uh, yeah, that caused all sorts of damage. Um, and then just after that, uh, my drive shaft needed to be repaired. I only had the drive shaft for about a year. Um, but anyways that needed to be done and uh yeah so a few other things fixed them along the way while uh, while we we're in there taking care of some stuff so this is kind of the 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 first trip of it being out being put back together so yay <laughs> it worked uh one thing that we're looking at doing though is replacing the 3.6 pentastar motor that's in there with a 5.3 ls doing an ls swap and uh, I've been doing a lot of research on it. We're, I'm saving a little bit of uh, money to make it happen. And that is definitely going to happen. Um, I've decided moving forward, not only is it more economical than buying a new Jeep, but I kind of like the idea of having the LS in there. Maybe a little bit more torque, um, definitely more parts availability and there's a little bit of a cool factor when you hear a v8 rumble up so yeah i think that's that's kind of where i want to take the build on this jeep from here on out um so yeah as soon as that starts coming together i do have some parts already on order for it uh as soon as it starts coming together i'll keep you guys advised on it and uh yeah that'll be a whole other video anyways i'm gonna pack up get ready to go here and video this um uh, this campsite because it's kind of it's kind of neat uh, very silent last night um, so it's good to hear the birds up this morning anyways thanks for joining me make sure you like and subscribe the next video we go camping at some frozen falls 
You don't want to miss that. 